Thank you, Mr. President. I give this on behalf of the Eastern Horn and Africa Human Rights Defenders Network and under the same sun. I have albinism, or as many might say, I am an albino. Today I wish to address a very little known but very serious human rights violation being perpetrated against people with albinism in many African nations. My NGO, Under the Same Sun, has evidence of the witchcraft-related killings and attacks of 207 people with albinism in 16 African nations. The majority of the victims are children from Tanzania and Burundi in the east to Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire in the west and South Africa and Swaziland in the south. People born with this genetic condition live in fear every day. There exists a lucrative black market trade in albino body parts used to make what is prom promoted as powerful muti medicine. The hand, arm, or any other albino organ is combined with other ingredients and then sold for thousands of dollars, 3,000 for a hand and over 100,000 for a complete set of organs. Sometimes body parts are even shipped across borders. In the last five months, Tanzania has experienced five such attacks. On January 31st, Lugalola, a seven-year-old boy with albinism, was brutally murdered in the Tabora region. The attackers violently slashed his forehead, left shoulder, and savagely hacked off his tiny arm. The boy's 95-year-old grandfather was also murdered as he tried bravely to escape and protect his grandson. Sadly, situations like these repeat themselves all too often. In addition, many with albinism in several African nations die through skin cancer due to deny, denial of basic medical care. Others live a life of complete social exclusion, not attending school and being denied employment simply because they look different. We seek a day when people with albinism will take their rightful place in all levels of African society and such days of discrimination will be a faint memory. To this end, we call on the Council to pass a resolution condemning acts of violence and discrimination against persons with albinism and request the OHCHR or the Advisory Committee to catch out such a study. We also commend the leadership of the African group in supporting this resolution. As Edmund Burke so rightfully stated, all that is necessary for evil to prevail is for good men and women to do nothing. We implore, please act on behalf of people of albinism on this matter. Thank you.